Hey everybody, welcome to Facebook Friday. It's time for another edition of my Facebook Live. This week we're gonna focus on the Hello Cupcake stamp set from the Celebration Catalog. I'm very excited. If you're watching in the replay, thank you. If you're watching live, thank you. It doesn't matter to me when you watch. I just appreciate all of you guys. All right, I see some of you jumping on, excellent. All right, so let's see if I can get my device going and we'll jump right in. It's been a busy week around here, you guys. It's been very busy, lots of activity with my kids. Everything seems to start back up the second week of January. New sports for um, two of the girls and then of course, all of the celebration fun. Hi ladies, I'm glad you guys are seeing me because I am not finding me on my iPad and that always makes me nervous. Ah, there we go. All right, now I'll be able to see your comments better. All right, so for Facebook Friday, we always make three projects, whoops, out of the screen, three projects and this week is no different. I will be doing three. I'm gonna go through a couple of things before we get started. That'll give everybody a chance to find me and jump on. Um, the first thing I want to let you all know about is my Valentine class. Here it is, all the projects. The deadline is next week on the 16th. What day is that? I don't know, is it Thursday? Nope, Wednesday. Next Wednesday is the deadline to sign up for my Valentine class. Um, I will get it all out within one week of that date, so you'll have it in plenty of time to get your Valentine treats made. Remember, it. Um, there are several, several options. The first option includes the bundle and the celebration item of your choice. I just happened to put, oh wait, here it is. I just happened to put that in there, the one that we're using today. Um, and it includes all the projects, two bolts of ribbon, a pack of the heart epoxy stickers. Um, the second option is for those of you that already have the bundle. The third option is PDF only. And the fourth option is for my team. They get the just the make and takes. Um, if you want this class, you need to register before Wednesday. Um, you'll have to email me for that registration link. I'm not allowed to list it per Stamping Up Rules, but just shoot me an email or direct message me and I will be happy to send it over to you. Um, there is information on my blog if you want all the prices and the breakdown and everything, you can find it. In fact, at the bottom of today's PDF, I always type up a PDF for Facebook Friday, and at the bottom of today's second page, you'll find it right there. And you can just type that in or click on it and it'll take you there to that information. Um, if you're looking for this, the website is pinkbuckaroo.com and you scroll down under the third picture and there's a blue hyperlink right there that tells you, click here for the PDF. I will also add the PDF in, in the description here on Facebook or in the recording on YouTube. There's so many places and so many things to do. Um, so you definitely want to want to get the PDF. It has all the measurements and the products and all the details for the three projects we're doing today. All right, how about we do some prizes? I give away two prizes every week for this video. One for sharing the video on YouTube and one for going over to my blog and clicking the raffle copter and entering your name and I'll, I always ask a question or two. So you can, um, that's two different ways to get entered into the giveaway and I've kind of started combining them so that they're both the same. It won't matter which place you win, you'll win the same prize. So last week the prize was Amazing Life and some sequins and I have two winners. The first winner is Missy Rober. Missy, I believe I have your address, but if you and Shannon Miller, congratulations. If the two of you will email me your, your mailing address, it will make it faster for me and I'll get it out quicker instead of having to go look for it because I think I have both of your addresses somewhere. Um, I also had a prize for Tuesday's Facebook Friday. Hopefully you guys were able to join me on Tuesday. We did all the kits. Um, you guys seemed really interested in that and I feel kind of like I've neglected those kits. I haven't give, given our uh, Stampin' Up! kits enough attention um, and I had lots of questions and interest in those. So thanks you guys for watching that video and congratulations to Heather Arnold. I picked one random winner from everyone who shared that video. We had a lot of shares in that video. And Heather Arnold, you are the winner of the brand new All That You Are stamp set. So Heather, I don't believe I have your mailing address. So please uh, email me your mailing address. 
and I will get that out to you as soon as I hear from you. You have two weeks, guys. I hold on to those for two weeks. Otherwise, who knows? I would have piles and piles of things around here. All right, so if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday, wait a minute. The one thing I do do is give away two prizes every week. I'm moving on before I'm telling you what this week's prize is. Prize is and it's the very timely Hey Love. Super cute little critters. Um, I've got two of these to give away, plus a bolt of the, I can never remember this ribbon, Flax, is that what it's called? F Whisper White Flax Ribbon, I'm not seeing it. Yes, Flax Ribbon. So one here for sharing, and one over on my blog. And guess what, this is what we're gonna do next week. I have been doing lots of thinking um, to come up with some really fun Valentine treats to go with these critters. So that will be next week. So if you want to win the stamp set, make sure you share this video and go over to my blog and enter to win over there, okay? I almost didn't put that prize in this week, but then I realized you guys need it in time for Valentine's Day. And if I hold off, then it would, wouldn't get there in time. All right, so Facebook Friday is three projects with a free PDF over on my blog right now, hopefully it uploaded. And you'll also, if you put in an order between now and Monday, connected with today's Facebook Live, you'll get all three make and takes for free. Um, here is what last week's looked like. Got them all packed up and they go out in the mail. Um, I try to get them in the mail um, by Wednesday or Thursday. This week they went out on Thursday. Um, and you get those free with a minimum $30 order. You, you have to use the host code so I know that you want them. Um, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, Debbie, sorry. Oh, I thought something was happening. Okay, I had to look at the comments real quick. Um, you have to use the host code if your order is less than $150. That's how I know you want the make and takes. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code. I will send them to you anyway. When your order is $150, you get Stampin' Rewards, which if you're not familiar with Stampin' Rewards, I say that all the time like everybody knows, but I, I know you guys don't all remember or know. At the very back of the catalog, there's a, there are two hostess stamp sets. Where's the chart? Hold on, let me show you the chart. And you earn right here, it says host, but you don't have to host. As long as your order reaches $150, see right there, then you get 10% of your order in free product. So $150, you get $15 in free product, and it goes up. And during celebration, when you get up to, well, that chart's over here. When you get up to celebration, and you get up to $250, I don't know where the chart is, you guys. Here it is page two of the celebration catalog. When you get up to, to $250, you actually get 25 extra dollars on top of that 10%. It's pretty amazing. So when I talk about stamp rewards, that's what I mean. That's why I don't want you to use the host code if your order is over $150, because I want you guys to get that free stuff. Um, and I will still send you the make and takes um, if your order is that big. Also, if your order is $50 or more, you get free things from the celebration catalog. Have you guys gotten some free things? There's lots of things in here. And I just kind of keep jumping around. I can't decide which one's my favorite. As of right now, the Hello Cupcake is my favorite. That's what we're using today. It's in the celebration catalog on page six. So cute. Um, so if you spend $50, you get one of those. If you spend $100, you can pick two, or you can pick one of the level two products, which is free with $100. So it's cumulative. Also, if you spend $50 with me, you get this free PDF. Look at it. It's like 70 pages. This is my tutorial bundle that I do with all these amazing demonstrators. We all do one tutorial, combine them together, and then we offer it for free with our order, with our orders. And um, it's pretty awesome. You can also buy this. If you're a demonstrator and you don't wanna order with me, I totally get that. You can buy this in my PDF store. Okay. I think I have given you all the announcements that I wanted to tell you. Um, let's see, I did. Okay, I'm gonna switch you guys around here. It's gonna take just a minute. 
Oh no, Debbie, I'm seeing what you're saying. Yes, you've got to look closely and look at what your order total is so that you're not missing out anything. Those That chart is in every catalog. Um, you can see it there, it's usually in the back, although in the celebration catalog, it's in the front. Um, and it's really nice to get those extra goodies. All right, so let me get everything situated. It's hard to see what I'm doing right after I put my camera on because half of it is covered with the holder. All right, let's look at today's projects. We're gonna make two cards and a mini cupcake box. This is my favorite, of course. You know, my the 3D stuff's always my favorite. And here's the cute little stamp set. Now, the stamp set has these scribbles in it. And this is a shading technique that artists use and suddenly the name is escaping me. My mother and my oldest daughter are artists and they told me exactly what it is and I cannot remember all of a sudden. Oh goodness, anyways, that's a, a form of shading. You kind of, um, you could do hash marks, X's, squirrel, squirrely, you know, curly cues, um, and that's just a way to kind of color in and shade your objects. So if you're wondering why the artist did that, that's why. Pretty cool, and I really love the fonts and the sentiments, and I think they're pretty general. I was saying earlier, I really need some birthday cards. I'm running really low on birthday cards, so I really like all three of these um, for for a birthday. Okay, so let's see. We're going to start with the simplest project today. So let me get everything out of the way and grab my tray. Now, in case you're wondering if you want to come back and make these projects, I have already pre-recorded um, the clean versions of them. Sarah, it's not Zentangle. It's very similar to Zentangle. It's called something else that my mother has talked about. I don't know why it's... And my daughter even did a unit on it. She's in high school, and they did a unit on it, and I cannot remember. There's, I mean, it's basically that, but there's a different name. It'll come to me. It'll, no, not airbrush, not ombre. I cannot remember, I cannot remember. It'll come to me, it'll come to me, I promise. Okay, so what I did here, I wanted to just kind of keep it a simple birthday card. And I am using some of this beautiful paper that's called How Sweet It Is. This is the paper that goes with the little candy jars. Have you guys seen that in the catalog? I think if I had to pick one thing from the Occasions catalog, it would be that paper and that whole suite of products. It's beautiful, it's bright, and it's cheery. And I'm gonna use this on our first two projects, okay? So I use the paper as my inspiration for the colors on the card. So I'm gonna start with a Melon Mambo card base and Melon Mambo ink. And we're just gonna add some sprinkles. And you know what, I don't have grid paper. So I'm gonna put this down right here because I want my sprinkles to kind of go off the page too. And I'm turning the stamp as I go so that they don't look identical. And you know, you guys, when you are making cupcakes and you're putting sprinkles on them, they go everywhere except where you want them. I made cupcakes this week for my girls and truly, I sprinkled the cupcakes with the sprinkles and like two stuck to the cupcakes and like a hundred were on my counter. I don't get it, I don't know why. So anyway, that's what we want it to look like. All right, let's move that out of the way. And if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna take my jacket off because as soon as I turn those lights on, it becomes blazing hot in here. All right, so we're gonna use Melon Mambo for the cupcake paper. And you'll see that the cupcake paper has these little scribbles over here. And if you try to center your whole stamp, the cupcake actually becomes then not centered because it goes over this far. So I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm centering just the cupcake paper itself. All right, see how it kind of went off the page there? And there's a stamp in here that you might have missed. See this one? It's kind of a weird, funky stamp. Well, it's actually so that you can stamp right here along the cupcake paper and get the color of the icing in there because if you were to stamp this right there, you would either have a gap or your ink is gonna overlap and not look right. So I thought that was brilliant on Stampin' Up's part to give us that little kind of funky fill-in stamp. 
and it's photopolymer, so you're gonna be able to see exactly where you're going. And I'm doing this in Highland Heather, right there. Now you could stamp the icing right on top, but I, you know me, I don't do anything simple. I have to paper, I have to cut it out. I have to fussy cut it and put a dimensional on it. So that's what I've done on a scrap piece of paper. I'm gonna go around and leave kind of a white outline all the way around. And the only tricky part on this cupcake is that curly Q right there. And because the background is white, I don't even have to cut that out because when I pop this up, it's all gonna blend in and you're not gonna see that I didn't cut that part out, all right? So don't feel like you have to get crazy. Now on the next project, I will get a little crazy and go all the way around that swirl, but you don't have to. All right, a dimensional right there. And then this, by the way, is a Whisper White stitched circle. It is cut out with the third largest stitched circle framelits. All right, so let's put some dimensionals. Right here, we're gonna pop this up onto a Whisper White scalloped circle. All right, now I cut a piece of the How Sweet It Is DSP and and my adhesive has run away. Hold on, I think I was using it over here. Oh yeah, here it is. I've cut it much longer than the card because we want it to be at an angle and we want it to overlap so that we can cut the ends off to be even with the card. All right, ooh, Barbara, what a great idea. She says, Wink of Stella looks great on the icing. I bet it does. Wink of Stella looks great on everything. And I bet it would make that icing really sparkle. Great idea. All right, now, before I put this here, I decided it needed a little something more. So I got a pearlized doily, and I'm just gonna cut it in half. And you guys know how I love my mini glue dots. That's all I'm gonna use is a mini glue dot just on that inside part. And I'm gonna put one there and then one here like that. All right, just to kind of give it a little something else, a little something, something. <coughs> mm, excuse me, I got something in my throat. All right, now, and two more dimensionals. Yes, this card will need extra postage. It will definitely need extra postage. Now, one thing I realized when I made the, the clean video earlier today is that I masked off those little swirls. See the little swirls in there? And I didn't do that on the clean video, and I don't think I'm gonna do that here. I'm not sure why I did that. But look, if you take this and you ink it just like that, that swirl didn't even get any ink, so that will make it fit beautifully right there. All right, now I'm gonna stick it in my tailored tag punch, and I'm using my tailored tag punch to cut that banner, just because I feel like I have a little more control with smaller pieces than I do with um, the triple banner punch, when I need to really look at it and get it in the right place. All right, so there's that. And of course, I got the gorgeous grape mini striped ribbon. I think this goes really well with the, the whole bright cheeriness of this card. Cut that off and put that cute little bow right there. And there you go. Not too complicated, but has big wow, don't you think? What do you guys think? It's bright, it's fun, and I think anybody on my birthday list could get this. Very cute. Let's see, I thought it was supposed to be the cake part of a cupcake. Hmm, Jan, I'm not sure what you mean. This part right here? I don't know. Anyways, fun, I like it. All right, that's project number one. And I am going to, thanks guys, I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna clean these off on my chamois because we're gonna use a couple of them on the next project. Let's see, here's the 
icing and here's the cupcake paper or the bottom of the cupcake. I'm sure it's not just the paper. That would be disappointing, wouldn't it? You just got a bottomless cupcake. I don't know, for me, you guys, it's all about the icing. What do you think? Are you icing? Do you like lots of icing? I know some people scrape their icing off. When my kids were little or littler, younger, um, and we would go to the fancy, you know, the, I don't know, where you guys live, do you have these fancy cupcake shops where the cupcakes are like $5? Well, we had one that opened up close to us um, years and years ago that my um, little girls, when they were little, wanted to go to. And of course, they would scrape most of the icing off. And I was like, okay, well, I don't need to order a cupcake because I'll just eat y'all's icing. <laughs> I like the icing. That's my favorite part. Okay, here's my next tray. I think I've got everything out of the way. And let's look at our second cart. I'm going to use that same paper from How Sweet It Is, except this is a totally different print. And I have to say, I wish they would sell a whole package with like 12 sheets of this pattern because I love it so, so much. Um, I really like Melon Mambo and Coastal Cabana together. I think they're beautiful. And I have used almost all of the paper from the pack that I got when I first ordered. It's beautiful. All right, so we're gonna do our cupcake a little bit differently. Let me get all my pieces out. And I'm also using something that I've really started to love, and it's these stitched rectangles. Have you guys seen these in the Occasions catalog? If you're like me, and you're obsessed with stitched shapes, then you need this set. I will tell you they cut differently than like our circles and squares. Um, they're a little more, what's the word, fine? Um, they have stitching on both sides. So when you cut out your rectangle, your rectangle has stitching as well as the piece that you've cut it out of. So you can use that second piece kind of as a frame or something. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a card I made in a couple of weeks that has a frame just like that where I've used this to cut out the center. They're really, really cool and I like them a lot. So for this piece, I've cut it out with this one. Let me look at the measurements on my PDF right here. I even wrote down which framelits I used because there are so many, it's hard for me to tell you um, exactly which ones, but this one measured one and five eighths by three and a fourth. All right, so that's where that came from. We are going to stamp our cupcake bottom in soft suede. Again, make sure you center it. Let those little scribbles, those little crumbs hang off over there. And I have to tell you that when I first saw the card in the uh, celebration catalog that had the cupcake like this with a banner in the middle, I immediately went to case that card and I stamped my icing right here. Um, but then when I went to put my banner on it like this, all I could see was the very, very top of that icing. So if you're going to do this with your cupcake, you need to leave like an inch here um, so that you have enough space to cover up, um, you know, so that you have enough space so that you won't cover up most of the icing. So I'm not gonna stamp that directly onto the Whisper Bite. Oh my goodness, I almost stamped it in soft suede. That's not a cupcake. I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you think this looks like, but we're not gonna talk about it. All right, some of you have told me and some of you have even made cards using it as something other than a cupcake. But we're not going there. We are gonna keep it sweet. Coastal Cabana on Coastal Cabana cardstock. Again, I'm gonna fussy cut. Now you guys, if you don't like fussy cutting, then don't. Just stamp it regular in Coastal Cabana ink on your Whisper White. You probably will need a little bit fatter rectangle, um, but I like, this is called paper piecing, where you stamp pieces of the stamp on colored cardstock, you cut them out and you piece them back together. And I love to do this. All right, now here, this is where I feel like I need to cut that out, don't you think? Because on here, it's not gonna blend in with a white. So, I'm gonna just go in very carefully and go around and around and around. And I'm actually cutting off that final little 
curly line because there's no way to cut that out. There we go. All right, not bad, not bad. And nobody's gonna notice it if it isn't perfect, right? All right, so I'm gonna adhere this flat like this. Uh-oh, is that too much space? No, that's good. All right, suddenly it felt like it was too much space. So like that, that's how it's gonna go. And it has, the stamp set has this cute little um, heart on a pick, and it definitely needs to go on our cupcake. See, so fun. All right, now let's stamp the sentiment. This time I am using the one that says sprinkled with love, and I'm gonna stamp it right in the middle with a Coastal Cabana, and I'm gonna grab my Taylor Tag Punch again and stick it in just far enough to get it on those ends. There we go. And things are starting to get crazy on my table. I need to stay organized. Things are getting lost. I start out so organized and the wheels just come off very quickly. All right, there we go, so fun. Now, I have taken the same paper, that designer series paper called, um, why I can't keep forgetting, it keeps leaving me, um, How Sweet It Is. Wasn't there a movie called That How Sweet It Is? Every time I read it, I think, oh, it's a movie, but then I can't remember it. See on the back, we've got um, gummy bears, and then this one, we've got big pieces of sweet things that you can cut out. But I'm using the Coastal Cabana polka dot and I cut it out with my stitched framelits. And I'm gonna just put it offset so it's coming off the side like that. All right. Now I have cut another piece using the Seasonal Layers scalloped border. If you guys are familiar with my stuff, you know I use this about 50% of the time on my projects. I love it so much. Um, I actually have two of them. It's from the Seasonal Layers. You can find it in the annual catalog. But I thought that this was absolutely perfect for this kind of project. It's just cute and whimsical and perfect. All right, so I'm gonna put some adhesive along the side and then I'm gonna lay it down right there, and there we go. Now let's put it on our card base. Oh wait, I forgot something. Okay, so you guys, did you notice this? When I made this card, I thought that this petal pink um, ribbon looked really good. I didn't think that it was too off from our pinks um, to be too different not petal pink, powder pink, I'm sorry, it's a, our uh, in color, ruffled ribbon. But when I photographed it, I thought, hmm, that doesn't look right. But, but in person to me, I think that pink is okay with that. I don't know, if you don't like that, if you think that's too off, then just leave it, because you don't need it. But I just wanted to add just a little something else. So I'm gonna put some adhesive right here along the long side of that DSP rectangle and get the pink ruffled ribbon and just lay it down. And I just want the very edge. Oh no, I hear the UPS man. Every time. It's been so quiet today. Maybe Charlie will sleep through it. We'll see. Maybe he's not coming here, but I did hear him. He has a unique sound. <laughs> I can hear him. All right, there we go. Now it's time to put it all together. Isn't that cute? I love it. Let's see, my card base. We're gonna adhere this DSP with Fast Fuse. Oh, hey mom, I'm glad you're here. I have a question for you. Ellie was telling me, and, maybe, and now I can't remember, the kind of um, technique where artists use their pencils to, you know, sometimes they do X's, Sometimes they do lines to shade their, their drawings. What is it called? I asked Ellie and she remembered and she told me and now I can't remember what it's called. It has a name and I wanna call it pointillism but I know it's not that. My mom is an art teacher, guys, she'll tell us. All right, so put this on with dimensionals and we need a bow, of course. Everybody says, why do you put bows on all your projects? Hatching, mom, that's it, you guys, it's called hatching. See, hatching, that's something we you don't really hear, right? Thanks, Mom, glad you popped in. 
All right, this uh, mini striped ribbon is actually Bermuda Bay, but when it has the white stripe in between each Bermuda Bay stripe, it kind of tones it down and makes it look really good next to the Coastal Cabana. I mean, those colors coordinate anyway, but to me it makes it look more Coastal Cabana than Bermuda Bay. So I'm tying it right there along the seam. And there you have it. I really like this card. What do you guys think? It, this is a really girly card. I'm not sure you could send this to a guy. It's really girly, but it's really cute. All right, project number two done. Let me move some of these things off because the next project needs a little more space. Ah, oh, tell your AP art class that I didn't take AP art and I didn't know. Sorry, ladies. Ellie knew, my, my daughter knew, she knew what it was called. All right, now, you guys know how much I love 3D treat boxes and packages. In fact, next week, we'll probably go back to doing three of them. Um, but this week, I did two cards, but I had to do a cupcake box. How fun and how cute. If it's a cupcake stamp set, I mean, you gotta make a cupcake box. And by the way, I have been off all sugar since Monday, and I have been dealing with cupcakes and Valentine candy all day long, making projects for you guys, and I have not had one bite. That is really hard, especially when I have this just sitting here in my office. I did not eat these. These are my girls. They ate them. These are the mini cupcakes. They're not the full size. I'm sure you, you've seen them at your grocery store. These are from Target. They're the little Valentine ones. But today I was at our local grocery store, H-E-B, and they had just plain white vanilla ones. So you can make this for Valentine's Day, or you can make it for a party favor, or a bridal fair, uh, shower favor, you know, anything. It doesn't have to be Valentine's, even though that's kind of what I had in mind when I actually designed it. All right, now, this project takes a full sheet of cardstock. Wait a minute, I need my notes for this one because it's got a lot of score lines. And I'm gonna show you what the cardstock's gonna look like after we score it. In case you're watching it again and you wanna pause it to look at it, how you cut it, I always do that when I'm watching something online. I have to pause it to see it. This is a piece of Flirty Flamingo cardstock that measures seven and a half by 10 and a half. So not quite a full sheet, but you're gonna have to cut a full sheet down and then you're not gonna have much left. So seven and a half by, what did I say? 10 and a half. All right, we're gonna score the long side at half an inch at three inches, five and a half, and eight. Turn it and score the short side at two and a half, five, and seven. I think I said to you guys, I already recorded the clean version. I can't remember what I've said. I'm kind of off today. I don't know. I feel kind of, I don't know if something's coming on. It's probably the no sugar and the one Diet Coke a day that's making me totally fuzzy and I can't think straight. That's what I'm gonna say. And where are my scissors? They have left my big scissors. We need the big scissors. Hmm, all right, I know I had them. Well, we'll use these. All right, so here is your cardstock right here. This is the skinny, that half inch tab that we did at the very beginning, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is cut off those right there. Yeah, it's been a tough week. I gave up all sugar and I'm down to one, maybe two Diet Cokes a day. And if you know me, that's like a miracle. So it's been tough. All right, um, cut the this tab, cut the, the corners off at an angle. Now down here, here's the, just so you can remember what side is what. This is the side that has the skinny tab too up here. Down here, this is the bottom of our box. So you wanna take your scissors, and I'm not reading your comments. I can see you guys commenting a lot, but I know if I read them, I'm gonna get distracted and I'm gonna mess this up. So I gotta focus. Okay, so we've cut all those apart. 
Now, you know what, before I move on any further, let me burnish these lines because once we start cutting things apart, it makes it a little difficult. So get your bone folder and fold all these lines. That way your box will go together nicely. There we go. Okay, now back to where we were. Now this time, remember what we did? Remember what it looked like? We're gonna cut this one out and this one out. We're gonna cut them off completely. All right, so I'm gonna start with the end right here. And yeah, if you're gonna make this and you come back to look at the video, watch the clean version. I think it'll be, it'll be better than this one because It'll be shorter for one and two. You can pause it and look at the, the way you're supposed to cut it out. Okay, now we've done all the cutting. Now we need to make a circle, a window right here. And I'm gonna do that with a one and three fourths inch circle punch. I'm gonna put it all the way in as far as it'll go. Make sure you center it top and bottom and punch that out. Now we're gonna make a little uh, frame to go around that and the way that we do that is we take that same circle punch and we punch a hole in um, some you know like a scrap of whisper white that white circle you can save it for something else we don't need it here take your starburst punch and slide it in right over get it nice and um, centered and then punch that out and you've got a ring or a frame to go around and if you like your fine tip glue pen, use that. But for the sake of the video, we're just gonna use mini glue dots. The dogs just came in. They must have heard something. They wanna say hello. Hopefully it's not the UPS man. All right, we're gonna glue that or adhere that right there. Now we're gonna flip it over and you know what? <laughs> My window sheet, I can't see it. Here it is. This is called a uh, window sheet. Stampin' Up! sells this. It's a clear acetate. It comes in 12 by 12. This size, let's, let me look at my notes. This size is two by two and a half. And I use window sheets quite a bit um, on things like this for making little windows. It's also great for making shaker cards. Um, it's really kind of a cool product. And a little bit, the, the 12 by 12 sheets that come in the pack go a long way. All right, so now I'm gonna put this on here. And the reason I'm using glue dots is just to, you know, just kind of hold it in place because we're not sealing it. Nothing's going to leak out underneath there, so we don't have to worry about that too much. All right, now, before we put it together, let's add the other things. Um, this little stitched heart that is super cute comes from the stitched label framelits. Notice a trend here, lots of stitched things. There it is. I've cut it out with um, lovely lipstick cardstock. And I'm gonna add that right there. Then I've cut a piece of designer series paper that is one and seven eighths by one and three eighths. This is not the paper I used in the other, th the other two projects. This is the Valentine's paper called all my love. I don't know why these names are not setting in. I've been using them a ton and they're just, they're not sticking. All my love. And the other one was called Sweetest. You guys, where is my adhesive? What, how, how do things go away? I mean, I'm, I'm just right here. <laughs> I mean, where do they go? Maybe it's on the other tray. Yep, it is. Oh, and there's my big scissors too on the last project's tray. I got two organized. All right, so this little piece is gonna go right here on the top section, and we're that's gonna be the top right here. Can you see that? All right, I think we're ready to put it together. So I'm gonna start by putting Fast Fuse or Tear and Tape. Don't use snail on this project, you guys, or it will fall out and your cupcake will be on the floor. So put that on the tab, fold over the other side, and now you've got this box. So fold in your side, your side flaps on the bottom first, then fold the back one. And I'm not too terribly worried about the bottom falling out of this one. The cupcake is very light. And then the front flap first. 
And now we're almost ready to close it up. Look at that. It's kind of like a milk carton, you see? Like an open-sided milk carton. Um, so put your cupcake in and then put your little tabs at the top together, pinch them, and get your 1 8 inch handheld circle punch and punch them at the same time. And then we're gonna use this beautiful ribbon and I hope I have enough left. Oh yeah, I've got enough. This is the ribbon, Flirty Flamingo ribbon that is in the Meant to Be Ribbon Duo Pack that is with the Valentine Sweet stuff in the Occasions catalog. It comes as a two pack and you get two different ribbons. The other one, <laughs> This ribbon is being stubborn. Let me cut it at an angle. The other ribbon is Lovely Lipstick, which is the color, the other color in this paper. It's Lovely Lipstick and it's much wider. I'm struggling, you guys. It's not going through. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Um, it's much wider and it has some white stitching on it. We'll probably use it next week on my Valentine treats. I'm so excited. I have been searching high and low for some fun things to go with that little critter Valentine set. So check back next week for that. You guys, I have to tell you, we have had my team in the first week of celebration, we've added 30 new members. I am so excited. Um, if you don't know about the starter kit special during celebration let me tell you you need to check it out you get hundred and seventy five dollars in product for just ninety nine dollars or option two is the same thing hundred and seventy five dollars in product for just hundred and twenty nine dollars but you also get an awesome bag you've got to check that out in the celebration catalog plus you get lots of fun extras when you join my team. So let me know if your wish list is huge and it's at least $99, you should look at that starter kit. All right, I've tied it together right there. We're going to stamp the sentiment. Here is the another stitched ring, rectangle like I showed you in the last project. It's the smaller, fatter rectangle. There's a, another small one, but it's long and skinny. This is just kind of one that's off sitting by itself. It's a good size for sentiments. And we're going to use the last sentiment in the set that we haven't used yet. Celebrate your day. This would be a great birthday sentiment. And I'm using it in lovely lipstick. And we're going to add it with a dimensional, which probably is on that other tray over there. So I've got many dimensionals, which is not really what this is needing, but it's going to work. And then we're done. How cute would these be like all on a table? Where's the other one? I have a third one. Let me close up my ink pad before I make a mess. Here it is. Wouldn't those be all cute if you had them like lined up, ready to hand out? I think they're so cute. What do you guys think? And not too terribly difficult. This project would be a good one if you needed to make a lot of them. Um, it's not gonna take you 100 years to make, you know, 20 of them. They're easy. I like when you don't have to do a lot of framelit work, right? It uses punches. All right, you guys, let's review. Let's look at our projects for today, all featuring the Hello Cupcake stamp set. We've got that cute card and, oh, nope, that's the same. And this cute card and the Celebrate Your Day. Oh, you know what? I need to show you one more card. Hold on. Actually, I have a two more cards. This, my stamp club to go, if you're watching, close your eyes if you wanna be surprised, okay? Here's my stamp club to go card. See how I did the same thing that I did here? Except I did actually stamp it right on the Whisper White. Still just as cute. And I used a different sentiment, different colors, and this is that gorgeous butterfly paper that's in the celebration catalog. And then this one was just kind of something fun I was doing. I thought, oh, what if we did a rainbow cupcake and we kind of did them all at different angles. I think it's kind of fun. I used a different stamp um, sentiment. This is the, the piece of cake stamp set. Count the good times, not the candles, which I thought was kind of, I don't know, I thought it went well. And I used the little um, cupcake, no, the cake builder punch for the stand. 
All right, I love this set. I think it needs to be at the top of your list. Remember, it's free with a $50 purchase. And if you put your order in by Monday at midnight and you use this host code, I'm gonna send you these three make and takes for free on Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, you guys, ch check back with me next week. I believe we will be live again on Tuesday at two o'clock over on my Pink Buckaroo Designs page. And then again on Friday at two o'clock right here with three more projects and they're gonna all be Valentine projects next week. All right, thanks so much, you guys. Thanks for sharing and for liking. I really am appreciative of all your support. Have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you next week. Bye.